I have been reacting to this series called Hashtag Single Life. I've reacted to part one and part two. If y'all haven't seen it, go back to my videos and take a look. Part three's coming up. So here we are, Anthony O'Neill uploaded a video called Four Words You Never Say to a Woman, Men Disagree, Part 3. Y'all, <laughs> this, is, this is the problem with my perspective on this series is that these are based on heterosexual couples. So I don't have experience with dating men, so I don't really know how that works, but I do have experience in men's mentalities with the men that's around me in my life. So let's go ahead and react to this video. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. Let me get y'all's opinion on something. So about a month ago, um, I put out this video that just went viral. I was hoping we were gonna do this. Me too. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> By the way, I like that girl uh, that just made that statement. I like how her mind works. She thinks outside the box, which makes me think more. So I like her. So this here is the recap of the last episode. You be with a woman who makes three times your income. I mean, that just sounds like it'll end in turmoil. I don't need every man to be content in dating a powerful woman like me. I'll tell you where your thought process is gonna change. I've dated a woman more successful than me. But you're also saying that for someone to be super successful, they're bougie. It's not all about the social status. <laughs> Here we go, part three. All right, so let's watch this video and tell me what y'all think. Could you believe that a young lady would not date me because I told her it's not in my budget. She didn't return a phone call. She ain't do nothing. And I'm sitting here like, well, what the heck? Y'all, she didn't text me for two months. Keep it locked. We'll be right back. So check this out, y'all. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I already have a video out talking about a young lady who wouldn't date me because I don't have a credit score. And I'm not going after ladies. Let me say this right now. But I do have a problem when young ladies try to play your boy. Like, way in the world. So you got you guys know me. I budget. I budget every <laughs> single month. At the end of the month, I always, you know, list in my cash flow. Then I also put out what I have going out. Inside of my budget, because I am a single man and I'm dating for a purpose, for marriage, you know, I do right. have a line item for dates. That line item is not a lot. I'm not going to give you the particular number, but it's not <laughs> that much. So about a few months ago, I took this young lady out. We went out to dinner. She texts me. She says, hey, first date was cool, but can we go to this particular restaurant next weekend? I didn't respond because I wanted to go home and check my budget and make sure no. that, okay, I can afford it inside of my budget. So when I no. go home, I realize it's going to take me over that particular line item in my budget for dating. So no. I asked myself, all right, do I tell her the truth? Like, I was thinking about just lying, y'all, to be real. I was going to be like, can't go, I'm busy. But then, you know what? The Holy Spirit said, no, don't lie. Show her the caliber of man that you are. So I sent her a text message that says, hey, unfortunately, I can take you out next weekend, but I can't take you to this particular restaurant because if I do, this would take me over. Over my <laughs> budget for the month. I'll be uh. really happy to budget this in for next month if we are still dating. So I send it and I got an iPhone. And then all the iPhone, crazy. Know how that happens. When they start out. typing, that big old bubble come up with a dot dot dot. I'm thinking like, okay, cool, we good, we good, we good. Then the dot 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 goes away and nothing comes in. And I'm sitting there, I'm emotional, like, dang, did I just play myself? Damn, did she just play me? Y'all, she didn't text me for two months. She didn't return a phone call. She ain't do nothing. And I'm sitting here like, well, what the heck? How was she gonna sit here and say, you know what? I can't respond to that because a man's gonna stick to his budget. That's sad. So she seen me on a particular national show. I ain't gonna say who, but she seen me on TV. She sends me a text message and she says, hey, just seen you on such and such. Uh -oh. How are you? What about that date? <laughs> I started typing and I really wasn't typing nothing. I just wanted her to see the dot, dot, dot. And I didn't hit send. Because here's the thing, uh, play me. And then I honestly Eddie. think I'm gonna come back to you after you've done me like that. What's the whole purpose of this story? My vision for my life and for my money, because I stuck to it, it actually blocked me from dating a particular young lady that probably wasn't healthy for me. So no. Out there dating. When you have a budget, you stick to that budget. Your plan no. is your pathway to your future. You stick to that plan. No. You stick to the vision. 
Where there is no vision, that's where people perish. And I believe when we just go out there and just spin and just spin and let people manipulate us into changing our plan and our vision for our life, things happen. I could have took it to the restaurant. <laughs> Honestly, I could have took it that next weekend. But I didn't want to change my budget around. Because at the end of the day, that's what I said I'm going to do. Yo, it's your boy Anthony O'Neill. Let me ask you. Uh, it was so hard for me not to say anything during that story. I have a lot going on in my head right now. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I understand having certain budgets for different things and sticking to it because you have goals set. I get it, and you're trying to reach those goals. But you couldn't even take her out to a restaurant for just one date. Like, you couldn't really expand that budget just a little bit for that one date. During that date in that restaurant, you could have that conversation with her. But come on, you don't know what kind of girl she was. Maybe she just wanted to experience that restaurant with you. And that was it. Who's to say that she was an expensive person? You didn't know that because you never gave her that chance. And just because she messaged you a couple months later because now you're more successful and your budget's a lot higher now, does not mean she's trying to gold dig does not mean she's going after you for the money. It could have been a joke. She could have easily just messaged you and been like, you got that money now, <laughs> fool? <laughs> but I get what he's saying, but come on. Maybe dating someone who likes the finer things in life, I guess, can motivate you to make even more money. Who knows? You never gave it a shot. Okay, that's just my thoughts. Let's hear what they gotta say. <laughs> Damn, that's just crazy. Was I wrong? I think so. No. I think so. Anthony's tone. I think tone's everything. Come on, man. Like, you got, you gotta script it. If you're gonna write it in a text, if you're gonna respond in a text, you gotta script it in a way that you, in a way that someone could read your tone or infer, not infer anything negative from your tone. So I was just thinking like, dude, what are you doing? Like, come on. I respect <laughs> that you stick to your budget. That's not the issue. Right. Like, I really like that's great. That's awesome. I'm glad. Right. I'm happy. I think I, the first thing I came to was like the phrasing. Yeah. Right. The the phrasing. phrasing? Yes. yes. He he made it seem like she's not worth it. Like I'm sorry, but <laughs> I got other shit to take care of. I'm prioritizing. He kind of belittled her the way he said it. Well, if we're still explain. dating. Yeah, yeah, if, if we're, we're still, still dating. dating. If we're because still dating. What was going on in her mind and what, like how she took it? The dates weren't guaranteed. I immediately think what went on in her mind. Yeah. If we still dating. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. It's, it's, it's understood. Yes. I That's think, from their perspective. Why not? Imagine the woman. Like, damn, all I asked was to see if you were down to go to this restaurant. And who knows? Maybe she was that strong, independent woman who would pay for half or would pay for that date. Who knows? You just assumed right away. Uh, I, why? It's what if she's crazy. sensitive? Okay. It's a text message. You don't know how she took it. Yeah. You right. That's the problem. It was a text message. Yeah, I'm not saying it. You're texting. Right You're texting. Brother made a whole viral video without Evolve. knowing the girl's oh, actual. Exactly. Hold on, exactly. <laughs> If there is one thing I want to bring up today, it is that situation where Anthony responded incorrectly to the yes. woman who was not considered a part of his budget. I got some thoughts on that. That's crazy. Yes, yes. Yes. what she was thinking. Wow. In a viral Listen, I dated a woman who made more money than I did. And that was recent, okay? She was her home. She's a boss, okay? She was on top of her shit. She had her own house, everything. Never had that before. I wanted to take her to places and take her out to eat and do all kinds of things. I was spending a lot more money than I usually would. I really wanted to, not necessarily impress, but I really wanted to experience these new things with someone new. So I thought that she might like these things or these places. She never really presented it or said that she did. It was just my assumption. And my assumptions could have been wrong. Oh, you have no idea what she was thinking. Yeah. Right. We, we will never know what she was thinking because she, he didn't won't ask her. Her. she didn't return his calls either. Yeah. Uh, well, when she hit a back, call her, she could have said. Call her? Well, it was offensive. What do you expect? Yeah. Oh, I didn't text her back again. You didn't? I just called her one time. Did you leave a message? Once? Nope. Uh, oh, so after that text message, you've called her one of the times. I called her one time. Oh, so you got the text. You did your due diligence. In a way. Well, one go. time. And she just didn't answer. And she didn't just respond. Well, what was she going through? <laughs> like, like, after y'all talked, did, I don't was know. she going through something? I don't know. You don't know. She didn't answer. I 
wish I could hear her side. Of I, I want to hear, hear her side. <laughs> hey, this is funny, yo. This there really is a division between the men and the women, and I'm obviously on the woman's side. I want to hear her perspective so bad. <laughs> okay, I need him to go find her and make a video on it. Question. And I'm gonna lay this out there. You pay for the first date, right? Right. Indeed. <clears throat> so why couldn't y'all come into terms of doing half and half on the second date? Yeah, why well. did he have to pay for the second date? He didn't have. He didn't have to. She never said for him to pay. She just asked if they can go to that restaurant. Listening. Yeah. He didn't have to. Yeah, to listen. But they didn't get to communicate. The issue that there was no communication and then it was via text so it could be interpreted in so many different ways. Right. You know how we saw that? If you come out here and tell me I want to go to this particular restaurant, why? Yeah, that was a move. It was a change. 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 The experience. I would probably say something like that. And I ain't bougie. Trust me. You can take me to McDonald's, Taco Bell. I don't give a fuck. But if there's a restaurant that I've always driven by and I never really got a chance to go and I'm finally dating someone, I'm like, okay, this would be a nice little place to go to and experience this for the first time with this person. Like maybe they had some enter good entertainment there. You know, you never know. Yeah, I, I, hear hear you, you know. I can't say I've done it. Like, I think that's really bold. It that's is. really bold. That's real bold. Like yeah. if you was like, man, I was watching Food Network and they had this burger over at the pharmacy that I really want to try. I can get down with a burger, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. I got, but out, but also, remember, remember he did. He never said no. He didn't say he wouldn't take her. It just wasn't going to be happening next week. We're not the saying he's wrong. Right. We're not saying, We're not saying yeah. he's wrong. It's just the verbiage and the fact that it was communicated via text, so it just leaves everything Should just been open to a whole bunch of stuff. If we keep dating, <laughs> you know, like, she hey, if, if you stick her, like, almost like you have to earn that. Yeah, like that's kind of right. Well, well, that's wait crazy. Wait a minute. <laughs> we don't know what, what she thought. What says that she doesn't have to earn that right? What? You don't want to think before I answer. <laughs> because if you're if you're if you're saying that she doesn't, it's basically saying she's entitled to that date. Not Ooh. necessarily true. That's not what she's saying. Well, I don't think that's what you're saying. What is she saying? I think I think what we're all trying to say. Who's we all? The women. <laughs> <laughs> the women. <laughs> it's, it's just uh, the fact that even though we know that, okay, it's if we even get to this next point, you don't gotta say it like that. It's just it can come yeah. off very strong. Say it. Well, it we're women. We're not say it we're not because what we're not gonna what? do is make assumptions. I'm not gonna assume that you know that if we're still dating by next month. I'm not gonna make that assumption. I think it's all well, she's is. still learning him. What does she know how he is? Oh, so she's well, she still learning him. Don't know how he is. How does she know that he can afford? I don't know y'all knew each other. Well, they didn't get on the phone and talk. Well, she she yeah, had to say by text and talk. I'm sorry. What? How long did they know each other? I'm the type of person where I love to look at both sides of a coin. Right. Like, hey, right. what did I do wrong in this situation? If there was mi miscommunication, what did I do wrong? Right. And okay, maybe I said something that made them do like. So this basically gave it an opportunity for. So many different perspectives. And you just kind of sit back and go, okay, let me reanalyze my thought process now. Right. I like that. This girl thought this way. This girl thought this way. But we were all thinking the same, but just indifferent. Yeah. That's and this is why I don't believe in the phrase. There's three sides to a story. There is your truth, my truth, and the actual truth. No, I don't believe that at all. I believe that there's perspectives. People receive information differently. People um, give information differently. And their experiences are different, even though the situation is the same. So this is why I really want to know her perspective. And One week. Disney princess. Oh, 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 oh. One week. What is it? What is it? Not enough. One week. Well, that's, well, I can't put all the information in the video. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have vital information. You ain't never watched Law and Order. So <laughs> That's, I think that that information is irrelevant. Right. I don't know. What? Mm -hmm. huh? She coming at me like that after a week? I, I think just if someone would have, oh, I would have picked up the phone and said, hey, that's like, that restaurant's really expensive. I'm really careful about my budget. Like, maybe explain it, the tone. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> See, it'd be different if you didn't actually have the money. He has the money, but he's budgeting. Now, if you really can't afford it, like there's no money left for you to spend, that's something that you do have to have a conversation with that person. There's no money left to take them there and it is what it is. It's just not a possibility. His situation was different though. Here's, here's my question. He's who who, who yeah. initiated the conversation? Hmm. Um, but that's why you call. So like, wait, hey, yo, you it's okay for me. you to text, 
but it's not okay for me to respond in how you initiated the conversation. So he should go out of his way. So I need to step up just so I can please her? No. I didn't say that. Well, this is the thing. When she texts you that, she didn't know your situation. She didn't know absolutely nothing from what I'm thinking. She didn't mean nothing by it. She thought that it would be okay. It's your response to that message that was offensive. So if I was her, yes, I would not have responded back. But y'all ain't saying no, that. Fuck that shit. You can't, it, so the opposite of what you're asking is, you're saying, so, so do I have to step up? Don't you want to step up? I have no problem stepping up, but y'all are getting on me for responding <laughs> to her communication. We only don't like those last four words if we're still dating. The rest of it is fine, but I'm if we're still honest, dating, it's tough. I feel like she was being greedy on that second date. Bruh. Okay, can I, Come on. Can I just interject something here That's for the single men That's in one the week. room? I, first of all, I could be your mother, so I recognize that. <laughs> I also recognize that it could be a generational thing, but I would like to have had that conversation by phone. Yes, yes. for yeah. sure. Yes. For I, sure. Think so much, on, I think so much can be misinterpreted by words, and yes, I recognize that she came to you like that, but I think she could have called you. I also yeah. think that you could have called her too. And I think all of this- They were both wrong. And we wouldn't yes. be guessing what people's motives were right. if you guys were talking and not just Okay, texting. but that's not a question. Communication. Yeah. Well, that's my answer. <laughs> hey, the okay, boss lady. She's like, yes, I don't care Shit. about the question. <laughs> got the answer. Yes. You know? <laughs> but the question, but here's the thing. I called one time. So here's the thing, Mandisa, you text me, hey, Great day, boom, 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 boom. Can we go here? <laughs> I, I respond back to you. Would you have just left it there? I would not have. I would have called you because I would have received your text and I would have been offended. And yes. I would want to know that I was not misinterpreting what you were saying. I don't see how that's offensive. It's well, so offensive. That's only the difference in a man and a woman. Yeah. It's offensive to me. Very. So when I saw that video, Anthony, what was offensive? Was if we're still dating. A lot of it. All of it. All of it, honestly. You're making her feel like she ain't worth anything. Like she ain't worth a second date at a certain restaurant. I think it would make me feel like you're not a line worthy? item. It would make, it would immediately, I would receive that as like a worthiness thing. Right. That may not be your intention. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you the way that right. I received it. That's what <laughs> Look at these men. <laughs> Look at these men. Say, if I were the, on the receiving end of that text message, I would have been offended. Yes. I just think there is a way you, girl. to have communicated about his budget that I think could have been handled with a little bit more tact. And sure, to his defense, she could have started not by texting that, but I just think at some point when there's miscommunication, somebody has to be the bigger person to address it and mm -hmm. not by text message. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you and that. he did say that he called and she never, re she never answered and they left it at that. But if she didn't answer, he could have just messaged her again and asked her, you know what, Th this could have came off wrong. Um, just give me this opportunity to have this conversation with you over the phone so I can better explain. And if she still doesn't respond, then yeah, fuck her. Because that means she's not willing to understand what your intentions were behind that message. Uh huh. no, no, because I learned a lot about communication. <laughs> you are interpreting At 23. What he, how he may be saying yeah, that. Yeah, totally. You can't interpret. <clears throat> exactly, that's why I would want but to But I do agree assumptions with her with the from communication. I agree. I she tried. Called, it didn't wait, happen. Wait. <laughs> she no, she no, no, I agree. She initiated with what you said. Thank you. I definitely do. However, you, anytime <laughs> you say but around her, I really can't about everything you said before. Right. Right. So saying say something about interpreting as feeling like you're not basically worth yeah. the particular date. Men go through that all the time. Ooh. Men go through that all the time in having to That's prove their worth to these women. How so? How so? Yeah. In every way possible. Like what? Give me an example. From how? character to mannerisms to how he how he courts her to what is he doing? Me too. Question. Oh, yeah. You both do. Both men and women do. Like women do it in different ways than men do, but they but they both are trying to impress. Exactly. Me too. Like we go through the same exact thing. I don't understand how it's so, different. So 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 what is the problem here? How how do you feel like if I say, well, you know, that's not in my budget? Yeah. How does it feel like? Well, am I am I worth it? How do you how do you how do you get that inference from that? Oh. I can't I can't break down to you how I, I can break it down for you, because why did you assume the reason why I wanted to go to that restaurant was because it's expensive? You're automatically putting me in a box of is my finances worth it? And I didn't ask to be in that box. 
I could have, like I said earlier, I could have wanted to go to that restaurant because of the entertainment that I heard was there or the way everything's set up, the way everything is designed. Maybe it's, it was just the experience that I wanted to enjoy. But you put me automatically in that financial box. That's why. Just say that that's how it would make mm -hmm. me feel if I received that. So that's why I would have called you up <laughs> and I would have said, hey, help me to understand what you're talking about. I run into this on social media all the time. I get offended with the way people say things and then I say, I want to make sure I'm not misinterpreting what you're saying. Yeah, Can you yes. break right, that down right, for me? Right, right, and it right. usually yeah. is that I'm wrong and I'm receiving it wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think communication True. has to yes. be yeah. the forefront in yeah. how you say things like that. A couple like that. of months yeah. ago, someone gave me two free tickets to a um, Predators game. Mm -hmm. And so I text the guy I was talking with and mm -hmm. I said, hey, I just got two free tickets to the Preds game tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Because mm -hmm. it's tickets, it's easy. And, you know. and he said, oh, I've already got something tomorrow night, but I'm free on Wednesday. Right? So what he communicated to me was... I'm rejecting what you're offering. Right. But I'm telling you, I'd still like to see you. There's another yeah. option. Yeah. Right? So what he said right. is... Okay, see, this is why I like this girl. She makes me think outside the box. He could have given her a different option. He could have been like, you know what? I'm not able to at the moment, but we could do this. And see if she was willing to do that. And if she's not willing to do that, then y'all got I don't know. <laughs> y'all got to figure it out. you want to do, but I want to see you. Right. So, so there was... But you did the same thing. What? No, you did what? not. Oh. No, you did not say that, Anthony. You said if we're still dating in a couple months. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <gasps> well, you gave another. You said in a month I'll pay for that meal. No, it wasn't you, a month. I said next month. Next month was a week and three days away. Uh, oh, I, mean, well, I think. I think. In, I'm again. I'm on your team. I'm AO all day. You're not on my team. I'm on your team. <laughs> <laughs> but I think. Another, I think another way you could have said it would have been to say, but instead, right. what if we did this? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do love that steak restaurant, but you should come over here and let me make you steak. Hey. Yes. And we can try that. Facts. Yep. Yes. You want to see her but again, this you whole, know that. This, whole, this you know? whole scenario was in the moment. Nobody's thinking about what's the exact right thing to do at this moment. I mean, yeah, my friend dude did. He sent the text, he interpreted. I wonder if they were both busy at the moment when they were texting. Cause I make that mistake constantly and I'm trying not to do that now. When I'm busy, I read a text message incorrectly because I'm just reading through it quickly. Or when I respond, I respond straight to the point and so it comes across rude. When I was just trying to get straight to the point cause I had something to do. I'm trying to work on that. Um, they didn't talk. Yeah. That's what really happened. The way it all went down, <laughs> is exactly what happened. You know, it's like, what if I would have did something differently or um, trying to figure out what would have been the right thing to do? Um, more so, how could you have adjusted yourself in that situation? Rather than maybe just sending that text, it could have been done differently. Um, it could have possibly put more thought into uh, before the whole um, transaction of the situation, I guess. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah, there's Honestly, after everything's said and done, it really does not matter at the end because you two were not meant to be together. Okay? That's how I look at it. You know, Communication. Yeah. We've built a whole story right when we have yeah. no idea what she's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to talk about what has happened since that video? Yes. Before, Anthony? Let us no, know, Anthony. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's all good. She it's obviously all good. called him back when she saw him on TV. Yeah, right. she did. Right. She did. And I didn't respond. But you gave her the three that dots. Did. And there's that, too. Yes. You didn't respond. Hey! I'm, I'm just gonna call that out. Hey! Okay. Well, he's, he's it's, mirroring, it's mirroring the image of what she did to you, so you're gonna go back and do that to her. It's and immature, it's childish. There is one side that's guilty or not guilty in right. this. Right. Um, if we had to pick a side, it's not even about size, but if we had to pick a side. <laughs> Um, it's a misinterpretation. There's things that both could have done in order to keep communication flowing. I wonder right. even if it was a definite no for both of you. Could you have come back into the middle and have been like, hey, you know, from my perspective, this would have made it better. Or from your perspective, how did you interpret this? No, I will say that was petty on my part. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, oh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that was petty? Uh, um, you know it was petty, petty. But let's be honest, if she would have did the same thing, it would have been acceptable. No. No. no, no, it wouldn't no. be. I do not believe that. No, it would not be. No. At all. We would have called her petty too. You can't too. go tip That's for right. that. Right. I mean, the real real is neither of them liked, it, liked each other enough to make it work. Just mm -hmm. not that That's it. Y'all just weren't that into each right. other. Yeah. Yeah. You just weren't that into each other. Yeah. Make just it work. like I said, because wasn't meant to be. I'm on a budget? No, 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 because, because you, you didn't care to have that conversation afterwards. You both did not put in the effort to try to make things clear.
told you, you didn't. I mean, you just neither of y'all did the work to figure out what yes. the other one meant. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I, that's think, fine. That's but fine. I think I think what y'all are saying is 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 I think he said it right. Both sides, the lack of communication. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I th- and I believe the breeding ground for understanding in in the end. Is communication in the beginning. Right. Clear yes. communication. Clear yes. communication. Right. Yeah. And, and I think... So y'all just didn't like each other enough to do it? No, nah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't yeah. say all that. Because I, yeah. I, I texted her back, I responded, and then I called her. She didn't do it. When she hit me back, I moved on. And I was like... I'm, you, and you that's okay, too. You colors, mm-hmm. by my that's opinion. That's, that's okay. okay. So I've already moved on. I'm not even going to open up that door again. Right, right, right. And right. I think that's a problem with single people. We move on, then we go back and we open up the door. Right. And then we have more issues. And that's one thing I don't do. I don't go backwards. Any person that I have been in a relationship with or dated, I have never dated or been in, back into a relationship ever again. I move forward. Okay. Yeah. And so, I, I, I mean, I... I I, I ain't going to waste her. no more time. I've to her since then. That's what Mendes was asking me. I'm ready for you and her to sit down and be interviewed together. Come on. Yes. Can I do it? No. <laughs> well, it's just no. Let's just That'd be a confessional no. room and have her no. That video will go viral as well. Same question to you, answer. Like you want to go viral? Oh, oh. Bring her on. Yes. Uh, man, listen. Man, listen. All right. All right. Let's. 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 No. No. I want to look for another good, good question. Ooh. All right. So, Beth, let's do this. Um, Mandisa said something earlier uh, before we got on camera, which I, I want to dive into. Uh, new generation of, of, of dating. Um, Mandisa said that she was listening to a podcast and... This lady was saying that in a marriage, man and woman pursue each other. But then you also said you want to be pursued. Mm-hmm. In this generation, we are seeing ladies pursue men mm. and proposing to men. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're ready. Is there anything wrong with a strong minded woman pursuing a man? No, I don't think Could so. Could you pursue a man? I want to say... Oh, okay. A little cliffhanger. I don't know what pursuit looks like necessarily, but I think that I'm going to be forced to actually let somebody know, hey, I'm interested in you, without sounding like a dork and saying, hey, I'm interested in you. So- but why would that be considered force? You're just letting the man know. See, now that's a woman's pride. Pursuit. I don't know. Deep down inside, guys want to be pursued too. Exactly. No. So what is it? Who? No. He said no. Speaking. I won't I I I I I necessarily. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm loving this. Y'all stay tuned because I will react to part four. You could watch it on your own, but if you really want to watch my perspective and the way I think and hear my stories and experience, Keep watching my reactions. Tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.